Hey guys, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you guys are safe and healthy. Today we are doing a workout that is all focused on the abs. It is a 20 minute, no equipment workout. And for this workout, we are going to be doing two rounds. So we have 10 minutes, 10 different exercises. Each exercise is going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. If despite for the last minute, the last minute of each round, we're going to do 30 seconds of Russian twists and then we'll take a 30 second rest. Then we'll go into our second round. I think that's it. So just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so we are going to be doing all of our exercises on the ground, so take a seat. We're gonna start off on the ground on our backs, like we're coming up, we're crunching here, and dropping. Coming up, crunch, and drop. So press that lower back into the floor. You don't need to drop your feet all the way to the floor. Your focus is pressing that lower back into the floor and engaging those lower abs as you drop the legs. Getting that knee as close as you can to that elbow. We're gonna do 45 seconds on this side, and then we'll do 45 seconds on the other. Take a 15 second rest here, and then we're going to do the other side. So when I say press your lower back into the floor, I mean try to tuck those hips under, like a dog with its tail in between its legs, and press that small of your back into the floor as you drop the legs. So just drop your legs as far as you can to the ground before your back really starts to lift from your mat. Really twist and turn with that elbow. All right, we're gonna stay on our backs. Next up, some more leg drops. So this time you're going to scissor on the way down. And then you're going to come in for a reverse crunch extend and lift up here we go so again only drop your feet to where your back really starts to come off the floor and then bring them in for that reverse crunch extend and up Really bring those knees to your chest for that reverse crunch. All right, flip over onto your side. Next up, we're gonna do some side crunches, but this time you're going to bring your leg in and grab or touch that elbow to your knee as you come up. So here, squeeze and hold. So you're really gonna feel that in your side. that elbow and the knee in the middle. Nice, all right, 15 second rest and we're gonna do the other side.
If you can't get your knee and your elbow to touch, that's totally fine. Just meet them as close as possible. Nice. All right, next up, we are going to do a full sit up. You can do this with your knees bent or straight. You're going to sit up, and then we're going to do three ab in and outs. In, out, in, out, and this time you're going to come in and slowly lower back down. Sit up, one, two, and slowly lower down. Up, in, out, in, out and slowly lower down. Take this last one down nice and slow. You're really gonna feel the burn. All right, we're gonna stay on our backs here. Next up, we're gonna do just some regular side-to-side -side crunches. Your focus is getting those shoulder blades off the floor and keeping that neck nice and loose. So keep your gaze looking upward and outward. Nice, all right guys, we are almost there, at least through the first round. Next up, you're coming to a plank position on your hands. You're going to bring one knee in to the center, just like you would a mountain climber. Bring it across to your opposite elbow, back to center, Woo! and back to plank. So center, cross, center, plank. Center, cross, center, plank. I'm looking outside my window. I try to see where my love goes. Keep those booties down. I know it's tempting to stick that booty up in the air in between and give your abs a rest, but that's not what we're here for. Woo! Every person could be you though. A pretty guy with a halo. But who am I kidding? Please now. I gotta realize that you All right, we're feeling the burn. Are we feeling the burn? I think we should be by now. We're on our backs. Last one before we do our 30 seconds of Russian twist. You're just bringing your knee in to your chest and holding here. Don't forget to breathe. Around the world, say to Peru. We lie in bed to its PM. Eating breakfast when it's dark again. Let us be part of the crime. You and me as body and crime. We'll dance alone. All right, 15 second rest. Next up is our last movement of our first round, which is 30 seconds of twist. You can do this feet on the floor. You can do this with feet in the air. Totally up to you. Or we're doing this for 30 seconds.
touch either side, down by your hips. All right, 30 second rest. That was round number one. We're going into round number two. Whew. This one is a little bit more intense. We are really feeling the burn today, folks. All right, getting ready to go into our side crunch with our leg drop. Fifteen second rest. <laughs> Next up, we're going into our scissor legs down into reverse crunch. If you want to make this a little bit easier, scissor your legs down, touch the toes, come in for reverse crunch, touch the toes, and bring them back up. Or if you want to keep this intense. Reverse crunch, extend all the way and back up again, forcing that lower back into the floor. Take these nice and slow so you're doing this with proper form. for those side crunches, bringing our knees in. Put your two fingertips here on your side and feel that muscle contracting. Squeeze and hold for a few moments if you have to. Nice. All right, 15 second rest. We're going to do the other side.
Alright, now you're slipping over onto our backs. We're going up for our full sit up and then our three ab in and out. Remembering to go nice, slow, controlled on our last third one. And all the way down. Here we go. Full sit up. In and out. In and out. And slowly control down. Nice. All right, coming back down on our backs, doing our side to side crunches. Again, this is more of an easy one, but I want you to focus on doing it with proper form. So getting those shoulder blades off the floor, squeezing those abs every time we come up. Flipping over into a plank position for those knees. If you want to make this one a little bit easier, just to modify it a bit, you don't have to bring your knee across to the opposite elbow. Just bring those knees in like so, just like that. Make sure to keep that booty down. down on our backs. We're almost there, guys. Whew. Going for those knee holds, like so. Just going to embrace the burn for the rest of this workout. Try to get those shoulder blades off the floor and pull those knees in as close as you can to your face.
30 seconds, you can do this. This is easy compared to everything else that we've just done. So just take some nice deep breaths here. So here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me and also leave me your feedback down below. It really helps me to know what types of videos you guys want to see next. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be posting as much content as possible over the next couple weeks and you guys don't want to miss it. Also, just to mention again, don't forget to check out the description as I have linked extra videos that you can pair with this workout to make your sessions longer or more intense. I have carefully curated a list of some of my older previous workout videos that will pair really well with this workout so that you can add on to this one. Also, my warm up and cool down videos are in there as well. Well, I think that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be kind to one another. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.